This video is sponsored by Doctor Phone WhatsApp Transfer. How is it going, everybody? Mr. Android here. Welcome back to a brand new video on this channel. In this video, I will be showing you six hidden Android settings that you should be changing right away on your Android device. Well, all these features will take your Android experience to the next level and I'm sure you're not going to find them anywhere else. For that being said, make sure to watch this video till the very end. Also, let's aim for 1500 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Well, we all use Google Chrome and it's one of the most popular browser that comes pre-installed in all Android devices. If you use it to download files from the internet, let me show you one simple trick by using which you can make your downloads faster. All you have to do is open your Chrome browser and go to Chrome Flags. You can type the following address and it will take you to this page. Once you are here, simply search download and you will find this option called parallel downloading. It will be set to default. Simply enable this setting. This feature splits your download into three separate tasks and speed up the whole process. Once you are done, make sure you restart the Chrome browser and that's it. Now whenever you download any files, you will see that the downloading speed is much better and faster. Next, if you are really annoyed by the ads that you get on your phone while opening any application or visiting any websites, you get these kind of pop-up ads that we don't want to see and it consumes a bit of your mobile data as well. I will show you one amazing trick by using which you can easily block ads on your phone without installing any third-party application. Simply go to your settings, connection, go inside more connection settings, you will find this option called private DNS. It will be turned off by default. Simply change it to private DNS provider and type dns.adguard.com. Finally, click on save and that's it. I will also suggest you to restart your phone once. Now, after completing all these steps, you will not see any ads on your phone and even the browsing speed will get improved as well. Definitely try this one out. It works flawlessly. Google has this very cool feature that allows you to try games from the Play Store without the need of installing them on your phone. For example, the Call of Duty game is around 2GB in size, so instead of downloading this huge game on my phone, I can simply tap on Try Now option and see how the gameplay actually looks. It gives an idea whether to install this game on my device or not. Now to get this feature, just go to your settings, then to Google and select Settings for Google Apps. Here you will find an option called Google Play Instant. Just go inside and enable this feature. Once you are done, now you will be able to play games without installing them on your phone. Guys, I just wanted to clear one thing that currently this feature supports a limited number of games to try out. A lot of people prefer having subtitles or captions while watching a video, but not every video has subtitles embedded in them. In situations like this, you can actually have the phone generate subtitles in real time for any video you watch on your device. To enable this feature, head over to your settings and search live captions. It will be disabled by default. Make sure you turn this on. Now, whenever you play any video, the phone will auto-generate subtitles for you and the best part is it works in offline as well. So even if you turn off your mobile data, it still generates subtitles for you. It is extremely useful. Definitely try this one out. Next, let me show you a couple of important settings that you need to turn off on your phone. Go to your settings, Google and tap on the three dots on the top right. Select usage and diagnostics. If it is turned on, make sure you disable the option. Basically, this is information that is getting sent to Google for developers when you are not using your phone. It consumes both the battery as well as your mobile data, so I will highly recommend you to turn this off. Similarly, when you select ads, you will see an option called opt out of ads personalization. You need to turn this on in order to prevent the advertisers from using the personal information on your phone to show you ads. Still, you will be seeing some ads on your phone, but they may not be based on your interest. Well, if you're looking for a way to transfer your WhatsApp chats completely from Android to iPhone or iPhone to Android or just between two phones within the same platform, then there is a software called Dr. Phone from Wondershare, which is one of the easiest way to do so. Dr. Phone is basically a toolkit that includes a lot of tools such as data recovery, phone manager, then they also have unlock screen, which will help you to unlock your device if you have forgotten your password. And there are so many useful tools that can help you to manage your data. But in this video, we are going to talk about this WhatsApp transfer tool, which will help you in transferring your WhatsApp data from one phone to another. You need to download and install Dr. Phone on your computer. After the installation gets complete, simply click on WhatsApp transfer. You will get a screen where you need to connect your source and destination device. Now I have connected both of my devices. Finally, click on transfer. Now finally, the transfer process will get started. 
it is one of the easiest way of transferring all your whatsapp messages so that's pretty much it guys these are six hidden android settings that you should be changing on your android device right now if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i am mr android and i will see you guys in the next one